I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Billy Crystal says he decided it was time to host the Oscars again because the young woman who works at the pharmacy doesn't know who he is. <laughs> he did make an appearance at the last Oscars and got a standing ovation, but he hasn't hosted since 2004. Next February will be his ninth time as host. Crystal is replacing Eddie Murphy, who decided not to host after producer Brett Ratner resigned. In the past, Crystal has gotten rave reviews. He's famous for opening the Oscar show by putting himself in the scenes from the movies that are up for awards. After his Oscar her appearance earlier this year, Crystal told the AP he thinks, quote, the show needs to change. He said there are too many awards and it has to sort of freshen itself up. And that's when he basically invited the Academy to invite him back as host because he said, if I can be a part of that, it would be great. <laughs> wow. Well, next time Ashton Kutcher tweets his management team will read it before it gets sent, putting a layer between him and his 8.2 million Twitter followers. He's handing over his Twitter account to his personal management because he tweeted several uninformed messages about Joe Paterno's exit from Penn State on Wednesday night. That's when Kutcher defended Paterno on Twitter, thinking he was pushed out because of his age. Those tweets went out before he learned the details of the alleged sex abuse scandal swirling around former assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Kutcher then took them back and apologized on Twitter. He followed with a blog post saying he would have his management team handle his feed as, quote, a secondary editorial measure to ensure the quality of its content. Good move. Well, here we go again. An actor making his Broadway debut as Peter Parker during matinees of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark has been injured during a performance, but he is expected to return to the show and fly again. Matthew James Thomas was rushed to a hospital after being hurt off stage during Act 2 on Wednesday afternoon. A spokesman for the show says Thomas will be back for his next scheduled performance. The main Peter Parker, Reeve Carney, has the role during the week's six other shows. He was at the theater when Thomas got hurt, so he just suited up and finished the performance. Details about Thomas's injury weren't immediately released. This is just the latest in a series of accidents that have left several actors hurt or sent to the hospital. Well, in local entertainment news, New Paltz High School Drama Club proudly presents The Death and Life of Larry Benson. <laughs> this drama will take you back to the 50s on November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Tickets are $8 for students and senior citizens are $10. Uh, students and senior citizens are $8.00 for adults. It is general admission. Doors open at 7. The show begins at 7.30. And, of course, you can see that the New Pulse High School in their auditorium. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.